And Madeline, even before we see any snow out there flying, some school districts, they're deciding to close. Oh yeah, Jeff, that's right. So I am standing just outside of the Bedford administration office, and this is just one of several schools that have already canceled classes for the rest of the week beginning tomorrow. And I sat down with the superintendent earlier today to learn more about this decision. We want to make this as you know, least stressful as possible for our families and our staff members. Dr. Carl Schultz tells me he's wanting to play it safe rather than sorry this week. So making the decision to close school for the rest of the week allows parents enough time to plan rather than starting school Wednesday morning and deciding halfway through the day that parents need to pick up their kids for an early dismissal. We don't want our students on the on the roads. We don't want our staff members on the roads. I don't want parents lining up to uh, you know, pick their kids up. Uh, it's just not worth it. So we want to keep everyone safe. We want to keep everyone warm. You know, we want to make sure that everyone is uh, with their family. So it was a pretty easy decision today, actually. He says, too, the snowstorm could impact the ability to hold school remotely. Well, first of all, the, the amount of snow and wind we're expected to get based on all the reports that we're seeing um, also affects power outages and Internet. Bowling Green City Schools will also be closed for the rest of the week beginning Wednesday. Oregon City Schools and Toledo School for the Arts will be closed Wednesday and Thursday. Dr. Schultz says at the end of the day, the safety of students is his number one concern. Yeah, this is one of those occasions. It's a rare occasion, actually. It's only happened a few times in my career that uh, we just know we're not going to be able to safely hold school. And when we do that, there's no point for uh, myself, my team, our parents, our community to you know go day by day. And he tells me for all the events that they are holding Friday evening, they will be reevaluating Friday afternoon to see if they can still hold all of those events. So, of course, you can check out our website, WTOL.com, for a list of more updated information on that, as well as the other schools in our area that have already announced their decisions regarding the rest of the week. Live in Bedford, Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.